Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at middleware within Laravel. First, let's kind of discuss what middleware is. Middleware in Laravel provides us as a developer a convenient way to filter out requests before they enter our application. So an example of this, by default, it already comes shipped with Laravel is the authentication. There's middleware that will check or ensure that the user is authenticated before hitting certain routes. Now, we can use middleware to write a whole bunch of different things, such as logging to a Slack channel or taking our input and uppercasing it. There's a whole bunch of different things that we can do. But in today's lesson, we're going to keep it pretty simple and we're going to write a middleware that will just ensure that our user is an administrator. You can see in front of me, I have a default install of Laravel. The only thing I've really done is kind of I've changed the homepage a little bit and I've run PHP Arson make auth. So we have the login and register here. If I log in, uh, if I use this with my password, you can see that now I have logged in and I can log out. I should mention that the only other change here is uh, I have a flag that will tell me whether a user is a administrator or not, and we'll actually go through this. But the main purpose is right now I have an administration link. And if I click that, whether or not I am logged in or if I'm an administrator, I can get to this link and that's not what we want. We want this link to be protected. So we're gonna be using middleware to do that. So the very first thing is let's dive right in by opening up our terminal and running php arson make middleware. And let's just call this um, administrator and let's hit enter. So our middleware has been successfully being created. So that means that if we go to app HTTP middleware, we now have a file called administrator. So in here, this will handle the incoming request and depending on what happens or what we tell it to, it will either send the user to the next request or send them somewhere else. If we take a look at the redirect, if law, if authenticated, this is a good example that we can use. We can see that if the user is authenticated, they get redirected to home. Otherwise they just get pushed on to the next request. So this is just a good one to keep in mind. Now, the other thing I want to show you before we actually get started here is in my user class, my user.php model, I have the administrator flag here and it's fillable. And the only thing I've done is I've casted that uh, number from zero, one to a true or false value. And this is why I'm going to be using the check to see if, if a user is an administrator or not. Okay, so let's see here. We are in our administrator middleware. There's uh, two things that we need to do. We need to ensure that the user is logged in. And then we need to ensure the user is an administrator. So this is pretty simple. We can use either the facade, the class, or the helper to check to see if the user is logged in. I'm just gonna use the helper for now. So we'll say if auth check. So we know that now we are logged in. Now we need to ensure that the user is an administrator. So we could say if the auth, so we'll get the current user. And once again, we will use this flag here. So if auth administrator equals true, then what we wanna do is let the request go through. Now, if for some reason we're not logged in, or we are not an administrator, we're going to come down here to this if statement. So we'll say we are not logged in or an administrator. Then what do we want to do? Well, let's return a redirect and let's send them back to the home page. And if you're not familiar, we're just redirecting to a route and this is a named route. So if we quickly switch over to routes and web.php, you can see right here on my home, I have a named route of home, so that's where that person is going to go. Okay, so we've created this middleware, and I'm pretty sure it works. We'll check it in a second. But how do we now make this route, the administration route, how do we guard it with that middleware? Well, that's pretty simple. If we switch back to our IDE, and let's actually look at the one that comes by default with Laravel. If we go to controllers, auth, um, or sorry, let's go to the home controller. You can see right here, we have in the constructor, a middleware of auth. So that means that all of the functions in this controller, the home controller is gonna be protected by the authentication middleware. 
So we could do that in a controller, or what we can do is use a group. Now, I like using groups because it just keeps everything a little bit uh, more readable. So right here where we have our administration route, I'm going to create a new group. So a route group. And here we can pass a bunch of different options. We can use like a prefix or a namespace. But the one that I'm going to be using is middleware. So what kind of middleware do I want on this group? Well, let's just start out with authentication. Now, anything within this group here is going to have to be required to be authenticated. So I can take this administration route and I will just throw it in there. Now I can check on this route by going to my terminal and running PHP artisan route list. And if I look for the administration, which is second here, I can see that right here, it's required that we need to be authenticated. So what this means is right now I'm already authenticated. I can click administration and I can log in just fine. Now let's say, sorry, let's say I copy this link and I open up a incognito browser and I try to go there. I'm going to be redirected back to the login page. Now, the next thing I want to do is make sure that I am an administrator. Well, let me switch back to my terminal and go to PHP Arson Tinker. And all I want to do with my current user, I'm going to find the first record and then I'm going to set administrator to false and then just update my record. So I'm no longer an administrator. So technically I shouldn't be able to click this link. So all I really need to do in here is in my group for middleware, instead of just passing one, I could pass in multiple. I could just pass in an array. So I could say they need to have authentication and they need to have administration. So right now, even if we do this and we um, try to click on this, we're going to get this class administration does not exist. And that's just because we haven't really told Laravel about this. If I come back to the IDE, in app HTTP and kernel, here's where all the middleware that Laravel has access to. You can see here at the top, there's a little bit of a description. So this middleware, these couple lines, these things are run every single time a request hits our application. If you scroll down, you can see there's one for web and there's also one for API. At the very bottom is the middleware that we can assign to different groups or individual controllers and stuff like that. This is where we're gonna put our new middleware. I'm just gonna add it at the bottom and I will call it administrator. And now we have to uh, send in the class, which is app HTTP middleware. And we called it administrator. And this makes sure we have the class. Now, if we come back, let's go back to our main page. We'll hit refresh. And if we hit administration, well, we kind of still get that error here. So let's check this out. If we come in, administrator, I spelled that totally incorrect. So let's make sure that the spelling is correct. And this, um, the key here actually is referring to whatever I'm going to put in here. So we want to make sure that they match. Okay, so let's go back, uh, refresh our page, and now let's click on administration. You can see that I didn't go anywhere. It actually just redirected me back. And the reason that is, is because right here, we set our administrator defaults. So if we come back and we set our administrator to true, make sure we save that record. Now, when I click on the administrator, you can see that I am allowed in. So this middleware is protecting our route and it's ensuring that we are logged in and then it's ensuring that we are an administrator. So what this means is inside this web, well, I can do a whole bunch of different things. I can have a whole bunch of different routes in here. I could have something like administrators with a Z so I know that if I'm an administrator, well, if I have access to this route, I'm going to get in. And what we can do is we can also test this in incognito. And you can see that we're automatically kicked out to the login screen. So it's working better than we planned with our single uh, middleware. It's already checking to see if we're logged in and it's checking to see if we are an administrator. Anyway, so I just want to show you that quick video. I hope that you learned a few things. Please uh, like, subscribe, or if you would like to really help me out, you could support me on Patreon. Thanks. Have a good day.